in this video i am going to help you guys to remember all 20 amino acid structure their names and their abbreviative names by comparing everything with each other so watch this video till the end and i am pretty much sure that you will be able to remember at least 15 amino acids among those 20 by the end of this video at first i have divided these 20 amino acids into five groups remember you can group these amino acids into so many ways but here i am dividing it into five groups and i have given different color to each group as you can see in the picture so that it will be easier for you to remember which amino acid belongs to which group here our group one contain amino acid with non-polar aliphatic r group as the side chain group two will contain amino acid with aromatic r group as the side chain Group 3 will contain all the amino acids which are polar and uncharged. Group 4 will contain amino acid with positively charged R group. Group 5 will have all the negatively charged amino acid. Now let's see the general structure of amino acid. Amino acid always has one amino group and one carboxylate group attached to the alpha carbon atom. Besides these, it has one side chain R group which is also attached to that alpha carbon and the grouping of amino acid is based on this side chain R group. This side chain R group also gives different property to amino acids. Now let's move to our first group. It has the amino acid having non-polar aliphatic R group. It contains 7 amino acid that is glycine, alanine, proline, valine, leucine, isolution and methionine. All these amino acids single letter are similar to their name's first letter. Now let's move to glycine. Glycine has hydrogen as the side chain. So this is the simplest amino acid among the all amino acids. And the alpha carbon in glycine is acaryl because it has two hydrogen attached to it. So this is the only amino acid having acaryl carbon. Besides this, all amino acid will have different side chains. Then methionine. Methionine is similar to glycine except it has one methyl group in the place of hydrogen of glycine. At least remember these two structures. All other amino acid structure will be easier for you if you will remember these two structures. Then proline. Proline is an exceptional amino acid where the alpha carbon amino acid group is attached with the side chain R group and this keeps to a ring like structure which resembles as O. So you can remember this O like structure as proline because proline has also O in its name. So remember this structure as proline. Then valine. Valine has branched side chain which resembles as inverted V shape. So remember this V shape structure as valine. Leucine. Leucine is similar to valine but it has one extra methyl group in the side chain. Then isolution. Isolution is the isomer of leucine. It has same number of methyl groups but the arrangement is little different. And if you see its structure, it looks like I. So remember this I shape structure as I solution. Then methionine. Methionine has sulfur in its side chain. And this sulfur is present in the middle of its side chain. So you can remember amino acid having sulfur in the middle as methionine. Then let's move to our group number 2, which have amino acid which are aromatic. This group contains three amino acid that is phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. Here I have not mentioned polar or nonpolar in the heading because it has two amino acid which are nonpolar and that is phenylalanine and tryptophan and one amino acid that is polar and that is tyrosine. Remember all these amino acid single letter names are different from their names first letter. Let's move to phenylalanine. If you remember the structure of alanine, you can see phenylalanine is similar to alanine with a phenyl group attached to it. So phenylalanine is simply alanine with a phenyl group. 
tyrosin as you can see tyrosin is similar to phenyl alanine but it has one hydroxyl group attached to the phenyl group you can simply remember it as tyrosin is phenyl alanine having one tyre and that tyre is OH or hydroxyl tryptophan tryptophan has one indole ring that is one six member ring and it is attached to a five member ring if you will see this structure you can see w in it also this w is the single letter name for tryptophan so remember this w shaped structure as tryptophan then let's move to our third group this group has amino acids with polar and charged side chain it contain five amino acids that is serine threonine cysteine aspartame and glutamine serine threonine and cysteine have single letter names similar to the names first letter but aspartame and glutamine single letter names are not similar to their names first letter serine is similar to alanine but it has a hydroxyl group attached with a methyl group threonine is more branched than serine it has two methyl groups and one hydroxyl group and the arrangement gives it a t shaped structure so remember this t shaped structure as threonine cysteine is similar to serine except it has sh group that is called the sulfhydryl or the thiol group and this group is present in the place of hydroxyl group of serine aspartame has amine group that is co nh2 group in the branch chain and one carbon methyl group where glutamine is similar to aspartame except it has two methyl group in the side chain now let's move to our fourth group that is amino acid having positively charged r group this group contain three amino acid that is lysine arginine and histidine these amino acid have amino group in their side chain which is why they are positively charged lysine has one amino group attached with its side chain which gives it a l shaped structure so remember this l shaped structure as lysine arginine has three amino group attached to a methyl group and one of the amino group is attached with the side chain so remember this three amino attached group as arginine histidine has a five member heterocyclic ring containing two amino group and this is called imidazole group so remember this structure having five member ring as histidine now let's move to our last group that is amino acid with negatively charged r group it has two amino acid that is aspartate and glutamate these are also called aspartic acid and glutamic acid aspartate have carboxylic group that is co minus group attached to the side chain methyl group whereas glutamate is similar to aspartate but it has two methyl group except one methyl group of aspartate because of the carboxylic group of these aspartate and glutamate these amino acids are negatively charged and both of these amino acid single letter names are different from the names first letter so thank you for watching this video if you find this video informative then please like it share it and also subscribe to my channel